Planwell has two modes. In the first video, I showed the sidebar interface where you edit everything within Planwell. But if you're an Obsidian user, there's a better way. This is Obsidian mode, where Planwell becomes a visual timeline for your Obsidian vault. Let me show you how this works. Here's my planning timeline. I have a few classes already scheduled, but let's add something new. When I click an empty cell, watch what happens. Obsidian opens with a new note that already has the right front matter. The date, the period, everything Planwell needs to place this on the timeline. I'll give this a title, 9a Mathematics Quadratic Functions and add my lesson notes here in Markdown. Now, when I go back to plan well, there it is. The event appears exactly where I clicked with the title I wrote. And if I want to edit an existing class, I just click on it. And it opens that note in Obsidian for editing. Full Markdown support, links to other notes, whatever you need. This works because Planwell doesn't store your data in some proprietary format. Everything lives in your Obsidian Vault as regular Markdown files with YAML front matter. Each class or event is just a Markdown file with a date and period in the front matter. That's it. Planwell reads these files and displays them on a timeline. You can edit them in Obsidian. Or any text editor, really. Your planning data works with whatever tools you choose. So that's Obsidian mode, timeline view for your markdown files. Use Obsidian for the writing and note taking you already do. Use plan well to see the bigger picture and navigate your schedule. Your data stays in your vault, in your control. No cloud sync required, no vendor lock-in. Next time I'll show you how this same markdown foundation lets you do some really interesting things with AI assistance for lesson planning. Thanks for watching. 